A final from San Francisco where Golden State takes a 2-0 series lead and improves to a perfect 8-0 at home this postseason as they beat Dallas 126-117 in game two. Steph Curry keep on cooking 32 points. Jordan Poole 23 points off the bench. How about Kevon Looney? 21 points, 12 rebounds. He steps up. Uh, Draymond Green fouled out of this game, had 5,000 in the third. Uh, it didn't matter as they were able to pull away in the second half. Really uh, a, a tale of two halves, right? Dallas, 72 points in the first half, um, 45 in the second half. They got outscored 68-45 in the second half, did the Mavericks, and that's really the difference. Look, look Luka goes for 42, and, and he got help from some guys. Reggie Bullock goes for 21. Jalen Brunson goes for 31. But Golden State just finds a way to rally down by as many as 19. They come back to win by nine, cover the spread. Game goes over the total of 214 as we head to Dallas for game three. That coming your way on Sunday. Get some instant analysis. Welcome in CBS Sports basketball analyst Tim Doyle. What the heck happened to the Mavs in the <laughs> second half, Tim? And they just could not put the ball in the basket and they couldn't stop the Warriors. It's a pretty simple recipe to get absolutely torched there in the second half. When everything was going so right in the first half, you said it came 72 big points. They were playing with confidence. They were playing with swag. And I was holding a ticket, Mavericks plus six and Mavericks money line. I'm thinking, oh boy, I'm in the money. And then the energy of that crowd fueled the Golden State Warriors. You could almost feel that the crowd was like willing in Jordan Poole jumpers. Uh, Otto Porter was outstanding off the bench as well. Took four shots, made them all. He had 11 points, seven rebounds, go along four assists. Steph did his thing. Um, I still think the Mavericks are alive and kicking in this series. Uh, I, I thought that even though they lost this game, you know, they proved that game number one was you know, a bit of a fluke, a bit of a letdown spot. They're coming off a very emotional series win over Phoenix. And today they were the better team for 24 minutes. Problem is the game in the NBA, they play for 48 <laughs> minutes. Dallas made 21 threes. I think their defensive intensity would be much better at home. But give the Warriors credit. This is the first game ever, playoff, regular season ever, that Kevon Looney has scored 20-plus points. He was a difference maker. Steph got help today at home. Yeah, you remember he had 22 rebounds in the closeout game against Memphis. He's certainly making a name for himself. Uh, one of six Warriors players in double figures uh, in terms of points. They're the highest scoring team left in the postseason, this Golden State team. Look, Dallas put up 72 first half points. How are they going to beat Golden State when the series shifts to Dallas for game three? Like, what is the I recipe for that? Yeah, I think there's a lot to build off of. You know, like, the uh, first game they got embarrassed. They lost by 25 points. They didn't break 90. All right, well, this game, right, 72 points in the first half. Now, the next 18 minutes of the third quarter into the fourth quarter, they only scored 20 points. Only 13 points in the third quarter. So, uh, I, I think you're going to get Jason Kidd to go back home where you've been dominant. With Luka, you've been dominant at home. You've won games by double digits at home in the playoffs when Luka's been on the floor. So I think there's a lot to build off of there, but the defense has to be better. It just seemed like the Warriors scored every single time they had the ball in the second half. And great job with Steve Kerr. I mean, Steve Kerr could have become the head coach of the New York Knicks. Instead, he chose to become the head coach of the Golden State Warriors. And I don't think this team is as talented as any of the rest of the teams he's ever coached there. But he pressed the right buttons today. Jordan Poole's an emerging superstar. Luka has been outstanding in the first half. But Akeem, you got to wonder, does he run out of gas there in the second half? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of what the question is, right? I mean, he still got his in the second half in game two. Uh, he had 24 points in the first half here of game two. And he was able to finish with 42 in this game. Um, but look. When, when you look at Golden State, they are so deep. You've got Jordan Poole coming off the bench. You've got Otto Porter Jr. coming off the bench. Then you're getting 20 points, 10, 11, 12 rebounds from Kevon Looney. Like, this team, the last series, right, they played against Memphis. They were really tested in that series. Are they really going to get tested in this series against Dallas? You know, go do this on the road. Yeah, they had their troubles in Memphis putting the ball in the basket. 
They're home. They've always been known to have a great environment. They switched over to the Chase Center. Environment still felt the same today. I thought the crowd was a difference in this game. You could feel there was an energy that was palpable, you know, through the, however you were watching the game. I was watching on a flat screen with my son who fell asleep midway through the first quarter and then I had to carry him into his bed. Uh, you could feel it. And, you know, all of a sudden the wheels just came off for Dallas. This is uncharted territory for the Mavericks. Right? A lot of these guys haven't been on the stage going up against guys that have won multiple NBA championships on their home floor. I think there's a lot to build off of there. But yeah, it's the Warriors. It's at home. And I used to say this about Golden State, especially when they had Durant. You bet against the Warriors at home, you're asking for it. And when they were down 19 points, oh, baby, I even tweeted out a little popcorn gif. I was enjoying myself. And then I wasn't enjoying myself because it was like a car accident. Everybody was, it was rubbernecking delays as people started sticking their heads out. You almost knew what the end result was going to be. It was all Golden State in the second half. Well, were both of your props hit? Clay Thompson under 20 and a half, Luca over 31 and a half. So both of your player props hit uh, on this night. Um, the Mavs are two and five when Luca scores 40 or more. I mean, look, what, 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 what are you going to do? Like, he, you, you said it. He's going to run out of gas. You think he's just going to go home for game three and going to recharge and it's going to be a 2-1 series? I, you know, I, this is exactly what happened in Phoenix. You know, Down uh, two. Went up, they went up 2-0, and after game number two, Jason Kidd called out the rest of the Mavericks. He goes, Luka needs more help. And what did he get? He, he got more help at home. You know, they were able to knot that series up. They've just been a completely different squad at home. So even though you lose today's game, you leave Golden State being like, we beat those guys. We, we, we beat them. We were up 19. We beat them in the first half. Like, I'm not ready to jump ship as of late, but the Warriors have that spurt ability. They made a ton of shots. Crowd was going crazy. Like, I've just, I've watched that movie for like 10 years and it was like, oh, here we go. It was like the owner of Major League, like they're playing that song again. Like I could just kind of see it all unfolding in front of our eyes. So uh, great job by the Warriors bench today. Poole was great. Porter was great because Draymond Green went to the bench and you thought that might have been a swing moment uh, in this game. It was a swing moment, a major swing towards Golden State. They have a 2-0 lead, but now they got to win on the road. And so far in this postseason, they lost the game in Denver. They lost two games in Memphis. Uh, they've had their troubles winning on the road in the playoffs, like so many other teams across the NBA. Warriors rally from a 19-point deficit to win game two, take a 2-0 series lead as the series shifts to Dallas for game three on Sunday. Tim Doyle break it down for us here on CBS Sports HQ. Tim, thanks. Thanks. As we mentioned, the Warriors, a perfect 8-0 at home this postseason. Uh, for Dallas, at least, look, Warriors are 2-3 and three on the road this postseason. So you're like, oh, okay, they score less points. They give up more points on the road. This is our chance. This is our chance to strike. Because remember, they were down 0-2 to Phoenix in the last round. They won that series in seven games. Perhaps they'll follow that same recipe here in the Western Conference Finals. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.